Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this design right here. This one is super fast, super easy and super, you know, popular style. So best of all worlds. So if you'd like to learn how to create this sort of vintage style design, go ahead and stick around. So here we are on Canva's home page. I am gonna go ahead and hit custom size on the right hand side. I'm gonna select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. I will be designing on a black, uh, for a black shirt today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go up to the top left hand side where it says background color and I will be selecting black for my background color. Now this is a pretty simple design. It is just text and a simple graphic but it's going to have sort of that fun vintage style that people like. Um, and so I'll show you how to do that. So for this one, I'm just gonna start by hitting T on my keyboard. I'm gonna go ahead and just type in, it's gonna be farm fresh at the top. And of course you can do this for lots of different holidays and seasons, but I'm gonna go ahead and start there. It's gonna say farm fresh. I can just go ahead and hit control D if I wanna just Duplicate it, make it easy. This bottom line, this is gonna say Christmas. Oops. And I'm gonna put trees. Oops, and that's gonna be obviously a little bit smaller there. Pretty simple, one more line. Bottom line, this one's gonna be probably all caps. I'm thinking is gonna be pine, uh, fir, mm, spruce, and cedar. And so those are gonna be my tree types here. And I'm gonna pull that out there. That's gonna come down here. Two more. So this one is gonna say open daily. Uh, and I can shrink that down pretty small too. And then one more text box here. And this one is going to have established and you can pick whatever date you want. Let's just, I'm gonna put 1935. Why not, sounds fun. And it's gonna go over here. So this is the basic layout, so it's pretty easy. This is one where the font really does make a huge difference. I'm just gonna have one graphic here in the middle, and other than that, this is more or less the design. I'll probably curve the top here, but really easy to make. So I'm just gonna go ahead. We're gonna do Christmas trees. So let's go ahead and we can put uh, Christmas trees or pine trees, whatever you wanna uh, search for. And I'm gonna go with graphics. And I am just looking for something that might look good. I want it to be white. I want it to be silhouette style. Um, so pretty simple there. So any of these might do. I actually like this one. I think I found the one I want right here. Because this, I can go ahead and change color to white. And there you go. That's gonna give it that kind of good old fashioned look that I want. So I'm gonna start by putting that there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick some fonts. Um, and so after looking through a lot of fonts, and I did really take my time looking through fonts. And so, it, most of these designs where the font really matters, it's, you know, that, that's what takes the longest is just kind of making that decision and looking through all the fonts and seeing what your options are. Um, for this one, I decided there is a font that I downloaded again from Creative Fabrica because I really like a lot of their fonts. Um, they have a lot of display fonts that Canva doesn't have and I can go ahead, download them for free from Creative Fabrica and then upload them to my brand kit in Canva. Caveat, I do have Canva Pro, so you can't do that unless you have Canva Pro. Um, but still, Canva has a whole ton of fun display fonts as well, so I'm sure you can find something that you like. The one I'm gonna go with here is uh, Sacred, uh, Sacred Bridge Old Regular. Ooh, mouthful. There you go. So that gives that really cool look, and I think I did the same thing. I wanna see the same thing with Christmas trees, because I really liked the look of that. So both of those look really, fun and so i'm going to make that nice and big straight across and probably pull down so i've got a little room this one i'm going to make again nice and big straight across i think i'm going to go ahead and curve the top so i can go to effects go down to where it says curve and just a nice gentle curve along the top nothing too big but enough that you got that little curve 
And so I'm liking the way that looks and I can make that a little bit bigger too. I wanna to fill the page. So far, so good. So I really just need to pick a few more fonts. Um, and so down here, font that I liked was something pretty simple. It was I am fell, um, I am fell English SC. Whew, there we go. So I liked that one there for that. And I was going to do the same for both of these. So really, I've only got two fonts on this whole page. Um, and so I'm going to pull that out. I think I'm going to go ahead and probably give a space between each of these. Again, pull it out some more. Make that big so that it goes across the bottom here. So something like that looks pretty cool. And then here, we can make this whatever size we want. I don't like how much space is here. So all I have to do is go here where you see spacing and I'm gonna bring that line spacing closer together. So I got it at 0.99. That looks pretty cool. I'll probably kind of center it right about here. And so that's cool. And then the other one, I can do the same thing. 147, this one is 116. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that up. So it's about 147 as well. I'll play with it a little bit more in a bit. Um, I wanna get rid of that line spacing. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna bring the lines close together and it was at 0.99. So I'm gonna do the same thing there until that hits 0.99. There it is. And then I should be able to line these up a little bit better, get them the right size. So right now, spacing from the tree is the same. So I like that. Spacing at the bottom is the same. So I like that. And then I can just bring that right there. Perfect. So now those should be about the same in terms of their spacing and all of that. And so there is the design. I mean, that was really fast and easy to make. Um, and it really just only used some you know, fun fonts and, and simple graphic. And this is a really popular style. And of course you can do this with farm fresh trees, farm fresh pumpkins, farm fresh turkey. I don't know, farm fresh anything you want and just really simple, easy design. Keep it black and white and it's ready to go. Um, and so tons of ways that you can just sort of do these sort of classic designs, just keep it nice and simple. So I'm gonna title this um, farm fresh uh, Christmas trees and I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna hit download. It's gonna be a transparent background. It's a PNG. The size is still set for one and I hit download and it is ready to go. And that one was made whew, in less than 10 minutes. So real quick and easy design for you guys. I hope you guys are doing good with your quarter four sales and getting a lot of you know good unique designs up. If you have any questions or comments or any um, designs that you wanna see done or, or videos requests, go ahead, put that in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. And I hope to see you guys again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.